hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience so today we are going to be making this beautiful easy dress with an asymmetric ruffle hem so before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it So I will be using this Ankara print fabric for this tutorial. This is three yards and this is also three yards. So I'll be using both for the dress. Now I've gone ahead to mark this line, which is my shoulder line. And on the shoulder line, I'll mark half of my shoulder measurement, which is eight inches. So I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance. That is eight and a half inches. Also, I'll mark the width of the neck I'm working with, which is four inches. Now on the shoulder measurement, I'll come down by one inch and I'll make a slant this way for my shoulder slant. After doing that, I'll mark half of my armhole measurement, which is eight inches. And then I'll mark my shoulder to bust measurement, which is 10 and a half inches. And I'll mark my shoulder to waist measurement which is 17 inches but i added half inch for sewing allowance so after doing that i'll bring down this eight and a half inches for the shoulder measurement to this line which is the chest line and then i'll connect the points this way now i'll mark half of this line which is four inches so for the back armhole, I'll go in by half inch and for the front armhole, I'll go in by three quarter inch. I'll make a slant line to the edge of the shoulder this way and I'll curve the armhole. So as you can see, this is going to be a dartless basic bodice. Now for my circumference measurement, I'll mark quarter of my both circumference. And I'll add one inch for side seam allowance. Also, I'll mark quarter of my waist circumference and I'll add one inch for side seam allowance. So for the depth of the neck, I'll use four inches and I'll make a curve this way. And I'll connect this and I will not forget to add half inch on the shoulder for sewing allowance. So this is the front piece and I will cut it out. So I'll first cut out the back armhole because I'll be using the front piece as a pattern to cut out the back. So for the back piece, I'll mark one inch for my zipper allowance. I'll be adding the zipper to this dress so and for the depth of the neck for the back piece i'll be using three inches so this is the front and the back piece and now i'll take out the front piece because i'll be working on the back piece now on the back piece to avoid zip bulge, I will mark half inch from the zipper line this way. So you can mark three quarter inch. It depends on how deep the back is. So I'll make a slant line from the half inch to the edge of the neck this way. So I'm still going to mark the one inch for zipper allowance. So this is the back piece and I will not forget to cut out the front armhole. Now this is the front and the back piece. So right now I'll be marking like the middle part of the dress that is from this point to this point and I'll be using 16 inches for that. So I'll mark my waistline. So I'll be using half inch to for sewing allowance to join to the upper part of the dress. So I'll mark nine and a half inches for my waist to hip point. 
So after doing that, I am going to mark the 16 inches for the length of the middle part of the dress. And I am going to be attaching a ruffle to the hem of this dress. So I'll be adding a ruffle of 10 inches to the hem of the dress. So the total length of this gown is going to be 43 inches. So right now I am going to mark quarter of my waist circumference and I'll add one inch for side seam allowance and I'll mark quarter of my hip circumference and then I'll also add one inch for side seam allowance. So on the hem of the dress I am going to, you can use the exact measurement as the hip measurement or if you want it a bit tight you can reduce one inch for, from the hip circumference. So I'll connect it this way and cut it out. And I'm going to use this as a pattern to cut out the back piece. So I'll mark the one inch for zipper allowance and I'll place it this way and cut it out. So this is the front and the back piece. I am just going to keep the front piece aside. Now on the back piece, I am also going to mark half inch from the one inch for zipper allowance this way and I'll make a slant line to the hip line this way. That is the edge of the hip line and I'm going to cut it out. So I am still going to mark the one inch for zipper allowance. This is just to avoid zip bulge and to give the back shape. So for the upper part of the dress, I've gone ahead to cut out a facing for the back and the front piece. So I'll just place good sides this way and pin it down. So I'll be sewing by a half inch and I'll stop at the one inch for zipper allowance. So I'm going to attach my zip before I finish up the neckline. Also on the front piece, I am going to place the facing this way, good sides, and I'll sew by half inch. So I've done that. After sewing the half inch, I made sure I notched and ironed. As you can see, it came out neat. And on the back piece, I stopped at the one inch for zipper allowance, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the upper and the middle part. So I'll place good sides this way and I'll pin it down and sew by half inch. Also on the back piece, I'll place good sides this way and I'll pin it down. And sew by half inch. So I've done that. I've joined the upper and the middle part, as you can see. So I'll keep the front piece aside. Now on the back piece, I'll place good sides this way and I'll mark where I want my zip to stop. That is 21 inches. So I'll sew from 21 inches down. I've done that. And now I am going to attach my zip. So I'll place good side of the zip and good side of the fabric this way on the one inch for zipper allowance and I'll pin it down. So when I am attaching the zip, I'll ensure the waist area are aligned. So I've done that. So right now, I am going to make the asymmetric ruffle on the front piece. So to do that on the front piece from the waist, I am going to come down by 5 inches or you can come down by 4 inches if you like. So I'll come down by 5 inches. And I am going to mark one inch, that is for my side seam allowance this way. And also on the hemline, I'll come up by one inch. And I am going to mark one inch for side seam this way. And I'll connect this point to this point. I'll make a curve line. And this curve 
line is going to serve as a guideline to attach my ruffle and I'm going to be attaching another ruffle on the hem. So to cut out my ruffle, I am going to measure this line and whatever I have, I am going to times by two or three. It depends on how full you want the ruffle to come out. So using the other fabric, I've gone ahead to cut this out for the ruffle and the width is 89 inches. So I'll be using one inch for hemming allowance. So this is like times four of what I measured. And the length is 10 inches, but I mark, I cut out 12 inches. So I'll be using one and a half inch to hem and I'll be using half inch to join to the dress. So right now I'll use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on half inch all through and I'll gather it. Or if you have a gather foot, you can use it. So I've done that and I stitched on the gathers to keep it in place. Now I am going to attach it to the dress. So I'll place good sides this way and starting from this point, on the edge of the ruffle, I am going to fold it this way. And pin it down. And sew by half inch on the stitch. I've done that. So right now I am going to join the front and the back piece. So I will first join the shoulder. So I'm going to turn it over this way so the facing can be together and I'll pin it down. So after doing that, I am going to sew on the half inch for shoulder allowance and I will sew on the one inch for side seam allowance. I've done that. And I ensure it is aligned on the waist, as you can see. So I am going to finish up the neck line on the zip. So I'll turn it over this way and I'll finish up the neck line and I'll sew close to the zipper teeth on the facing this way and I'll do the same thing on the other side and I'll cut out the excess zip. So after doing that I am going to serge the edge of the facing and I'll use a hemming gum to align it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the hem of the dress and whatever I have, I am as well going to times it by four for the ruffle to come out really full. And I'm using the same 12 inches, so I'll use one and a half inch to hem and I'll use half inch to attach to the dress. So right now I'll use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on half inch all through and I will gather it. So I've done that and I ensure it is up to what I measured and I stitched on the gathers to keep it in place and I also joined the edge by half inch. So right now, the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the ruffle to the hem of the dress. To do that, I am going to place good sides this way. 
and then I will pin it down all through and sew by half inch. I've done that. So I've gone ahead to cut out the sleeve and I have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'll put the link on the description box below. So the length of the sleeve is 15 inches and I added 2 inch for hemming allowance that is 17 inches. So I am going to sew on the one inch for side seam allowance and I will hem the sleeve and I will attach the sleeve. I've done that. I've attached the sleeve and also I've hemmed the sleeve. So this is how beautiful and neat it came out as you can see. So we have come to the end of this tutorial guys. If this was helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.